Dear brothers and sisters, Prophet Emani here, the prophet of love. The Lord has spoken to my heart to give this message to the world today. This message is called a highway of holiness. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 35, verse 8 to 10, it declares, And an highway shall be there, and a way it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those who are welfare men. Though fools shall not be in there, no lion shall be there, no ravagious beast shall go there, it shall not be found there, but only the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sign shall flee away. Brothers and sisters, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 14, it says that we should try to be peaceful with others and be holy. For without holiness, no man can see God. The book of First Peter chapter 1 verse 15 says, He that call you is holy, so you must be holy. For it is written, For I am holy. In the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 24, the Bible says we should put on a new self, which is created in God's image and likeness, which is holiness and righteousness. Today, holiness is looked at something that has weakness. But there's power in holiness. God is calling the church to clean your salvation garment. That's why there's some wearing this. That is the power of holiness, what it can do to a sinner. I was once living in sin, but Christ came and gave me his righteousness. Not my righteousness, not my fear to rise, but his righteousness. So flee from your own self-righteousness and return to the righteousness of God. Righteousness simply stands for right standing with God. That means that you are following the word of God and what it says. That's the right standing with God. Not our own words, but his words. Return to God in holiness and righteousness. Wash your salvation garment. Let it be stainless. No blemishes, no wrinkles. God calls out for holiness. The Bible says in the book of Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 13 that he is holy. His eyes are too pure to look at sin. We are not perfect. But what can be perfect in the heart is love. And love brings out the holiness of Christ. Jesus Christ has redeemed us from the pits of uncleanness and filthiness. The Bible says in Ezekiel 36 verse 25 to 27 that God will pour our clean water upon us and clean us, cleanse us from all unrighteousness, from all what defies us, what destroys our temple. So he give us a spirit, his spirit, give us a heart of flesh and take away a heart of stone so that he can put our, his spirit in us to move us to obey him. It's a holy God. So let's return back to holiness. Shalom. Amen. Amen.